cooling down now in the evening. It's down to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. The producers said we'd be staying that night at the Million Stars Motel, which boasted the finest fish restaurant in the outback. And we were looking forward to that. However, when they told us we'd arrived... Where is it? I know exactly what this is. I've got it. What? Million Star Motel. Yep. Best oh. fish restaurant in the outback. It's a joke. Stars. Yes. It's a funny joke. Funny. Funny, yeah, good. So, we're tenting. We were given some horrible camping stuff and an Australian kitchen. And once that had been set up, we had to catch our supper. Mate. Thanks. Welcome, welcome to Top Gear. Oh, hell. <laughs> what are you struggling with? Everything. No, what's it? <laughs> Can you look behind you when you do that? Yes. Why are you in your car? I am in the car because the crocodiles are in that pond. No, oh, there are no crocodiles here. Well, there are. They can sit underwater. These are machines for killing and eating. They can tackle a water buffalo whole. Are you not scared of crocodiles? Well, I'm not when they're not there. Well, then there's the snakes. Oh, there's God. the <laughs> death adders. There is no country on Earth where the public perception of the country is further removed from the reality than Australia. It's just tourism. Hold on, what was that? What did that? But it's gone under the water. Where's he gone? I don't know, but he's gone down, so... Oh, oh look at is. that! Yes, it is! That is moving towards us, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Did you read last week about that one that ate a Bentley hole, complete with the man in it? Yeah, but it spat the Bentley out. He it knows. carries a spare set of teeth. Does it? Yes. We are in Australia, trying to find out if modern, complicated cars can survive the outback. Indeed, the producers had told us to drive from Darwin to a three-million-acre farm where we would have to round up 4,000 cows using a BMW M6, a Bentley Continental and a Nissan GTR. Yep. When we left the action, we were sitting beside a crocodile-infested swamp trying to catch fish for our supper. And the good news is we survived the crocodile. We did, but we weren't out of danger yet because in Australia, animals don't just like to bite, sting and strangle you. They also love to jump out in the road and kill you in a crash. <laughs> and 